Hello. Uh, today we are going to uh, just do full on application of a blog series that I did on writing functional uh, JavaScript, so function composition in JavaScript to solve common uh, tasks in JavaScript, specifically client side JavaScript and all sorts of manipulating of arrays and objects, that sort of, sort of stuff. So the, uh, the concepts that I'm going to use here as, as we refactor and uh, implement these functional patterns are going to be covered in detail in a blog series that I'll post in the description of the video. This is just going to be a live code along of how I would go about this relatively TDD driven. Um, so our baseline here that you'll find in the um, uh, phase or episode one branch will be uh, just a starting test with some mock books, book objects in an array that will pass into this books in year function. This will work in a way that uh, we pass up the books and the year and then uh, we would expect it to only return the objects who have the matching year property. So uh, let's go ahead and run a test using uh, tape. And it's a nice lightweight testing library. Here we can see that we expected uh, we expect the value to equal the actual value, which is undefined. So we'll go ahead and check out our index.js file. Uh, that's where we're importing it from here. And I will keep two separate tabs just so we can keep everything in a nice big view. I even bump it up a little bit here. Uh, so obviously this function does nothing. That's why we got undefined. So I'm just going to deviate a little bit from the TDD style and I'm just going to write a for loop. So this would be our imperative solution where we write uh, a new empty array we're going to say for each book of books we're going to uh, say if book.year equals year then we'll take the matches array and we'll push a book onto it and then at the very end we'll return all the matches so let's see if that works. It does. All right. So that's our first implementation. Um, we'll call this imperative. So we'll just check out a branch. Uh, get checkout. We'll say uh, start. We'll prefix it with one for episode one. Uh, imperative. for loop. Okay. Uh, I have to just want to add that index, the no version thing will update at a separate time. So we'll say git add index. Commit. All my like git commands are like portmanteaus of G and whatever word. We'll say uh, we in this commit we implement for loop. Implement. Uh, that would be redundant. Implement for loop. Solution. Cool. So I'll push that up to the remote. Uh, and that's the end of episode one. Here is our imperative for loop. We open a variable that is assigned to an empty array called matches. We use a for loop to iterate through each book in the books collection. If the book year matches the year that we pass in here in the function signature, we will push the book or add the book to the matches array and then we return the matches array. We, we got a lot of imperative kind of telling the code exactly how to do it. Uh, and we're going to, uh, in the next episode, reach for some built in JavaScript abstractions that do this kind of work for us uh, in a safer way that um, will lead to less bugs. We'll see you next time.